among them spread ever westward and established communities. One such group that settled in Rising Springs was resented by the cattle barons. Had it not been for one man, the area might have experienced one of the most disastrous feuds in the history of the Southwest. Rex Allen stars as the Frontier Doctor. Basin Cattle Company had been making trouble for the small homesteaders who had settled on open grazing land in the vicinity of Rising Springs. The incident at the Hellboard farm proved to be the fuse that nearly exploded the range into open war. Please, mister, please leave me alone. to get back to work. It's nice and cool in here. And a lady of the house is so charming. <laughs> Better go easy on that stuff, Josh. Trouble with you, Lonnie, you ain't old enough to know how to have fun. Well, I guess it's time to bid the lady a fond farewell. <laughs> My turn next! <laughs> We got business to tend to, Jack. Well, don't rush me, kid. Papa! 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 Cowboys? I've been waiting for you, Papa. They'll make trouble. What you do on my land, cowboys? We're from the Basin Cattle Outfit. We came to get the beef you stole off us. Crazy cowboy. I don't steal beef. Look for yourself. Don't give me any of your lip pig, farmer. You've got them hidden in the hills. I'll give you two days to get them back. Or clear off this land. Don't scare me off my land like you scare the others. I don't scare, cowboy. I stay and farm my land. Now you get out of here! <laughs> Kid, leave him. Let's get out of here. Mr. Helborg. Meet Doc Baxter, Mr. Helborg. His son has been shot in the stomach. Two of the cowboys involved are still out of his place. One dead and one with a slug in his foot. Black Jack catch him again? Same one. Helborg swore out the warrants and I made him out. At last, I think I've got something legal on that bullying gun sharp. It's about time. Black Jack will be feeling in need of some friends about now. I'll drop over to the basin outfit and see if he's with his boss. My boy hurts bad, Doctor. You come quick, yeah? See you later over at your place, Mr. Helborg. Yeah. Violence, even when expected, always comes as a shock. I could still feel it in the air when we pulled up at the Helborg farm. Big Swede inside did it. Blasted him with a shotgun. This is my daughter Anna, Dr. Baxter. Hello, Anna. Starting a little young, aren't you, boy? 
Well, I wasn't doing anything. Blackjack. Drinking. Scaring a girl. As soon as the bullets started flying, I ran. Didn't run quick enough, did you? Who bandaged your foot? She did. Pretty nice of you, miss, considering what he did. I would do as much for a dog. I'll be back. The man inside needs me more than you do. Hiya, Doc. Hi, Nels. Does it hurt bad? Yeah. It's in the belly, Doc. Yeah, the bullet's still in there. There's no hemorrhaging. It could be worse. Not too much. Not too much. No, don't do anything. I'm so nervous. Stupid. Just a little at a time. A little at a time. Save my boy, Doctor. There it is. Keep this for good luck. Yeah, you need it. Cowboys. Five of them. Wait a minute. Might be better if you stayed inside. I'll go see what they want. You stay here with the boy. Jack? Hello, Mr. Stacy. Hey, Bonnie. You think I ran out on you, kid? I was wondering. The basin outfit never runs out on his boys. Thanks, Mr. Stacy. Josh? Yeah. Charge a shot down the torment half. Dirty pig loving sweet farmers. They'll pay for this. We better get you to a doctor. You don't have to. Doc Baxter's inside. Here? Yeah? yeah, he's treating the young sweet. You mean he passed you by to treat a clodhopper? Wait till I see him. Hello, Stacy. Evening, Doc. Sort of pains me to see you're passing by cowboys to treat clodhoppers these days. It's not a matter of preference, Stacy. It's a matter of precedent. Stomach wound's a lot more important than an injured foot. You sure you got time to spare for the young lad now? The sheriff, things won't be better now, yeah? Hello, Ed. We were just coming to look you up. Look me up? Sure. Blackjack and Lonnie here want to file a complaint against these Swedes. Hey, that's mighty interesting, that is. He and I already have warrants against Davis and Ketchum on counts of invasion of property rights, intimidation, and assault with deadly weapons. Lies, Sheriff, lies. Well, we did was stop by here for a drink of water. Then all of a sudden, the men folks showed up and started shooting. Why, they had old Josh killed before we could loosen up our hardware. Why, you just asked Lonnie. He was here. What about it, boy? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, it's about right. About right? You got a different version? It'll be about enough from you, Sheriff. Keep your mouth shut, boy. If we have to, we'll get a lawyer to do your talking. You better fetch him in a hurry, Mr. Stacy. To my way of thinking, these boys are gonna need all the legal help they can get. I'll take your gun, catch him. Go along with him, Jack. We'll have you out on bail in no time. But we're gonna fight this thing to the finish, do you hear me? Time we took a stand against the farmers. It's you that ought to be going to jail, Helborg, instead of my men. Do you hear me? I hear, Stacy. You don't scare me. Go away now. Get off my land. That's enough, Stacy. You and your men clear out. On oh, Stacy. What about the dead cowboy? He's all yours, Sheriff. It's no good to me now. You're such a good friend of the old man's. How about giving me a hand? Well, I told you, Doc, a little while ago, about what happened. It's like Blackjack said. 
Was it? Don't you believe me? You're afraid of Black Jack's guns, boy. It's as simple as that. We're doing good so far, kid. Just stick by your story and we'll come out fine. It's lying, Jack. I don't like it. There's a lot worse things in life than not telling the truth. It's not right. Maybe we ought to just take what's coming to us, huh? You don't mean us, kid. You mean me. So don't go to getting noble about the law and the truth. Or I'll have to kill you. I wouldn't want to do that, kid. You're my partner. Or do you think you could outdraw me? The judge set the bail, Sheriff? Yeah. Stacy ought to be along any time now. Yeah, I know you're at the judge's house. The bail's a hundred apiece, isn't it, a Sheriff? You know it is. You'll tell what the judge said. <laughs> you don't sound too anxious to turn them loose, Ed. That's a loophole in the law that ought to be plugged. Oh, sure. Here, sign here. You men, stick around the area until your trial comes up. Maybe there won't be a trial, Sheriff. I've got a sneaking hunch those Swedes will be dropping the charges. What do you mean by that? Shut up, Jack. Lonnie, there's a present for you. Put up at Mrs. Chapman's boarding house till that foot heals. I'll stand all expenses. Come on, Jack. Let's go. Your horse, Jack. Did you talk to the Swede? Yeah. Refuses to withdraw charges. He needs more persuasion. You watch the rough stuff, Jack. This one was pretty close. Well, maybe you'd rather see me go to trial. We could lick it. With a good lawyer, the kid's testimony. You can't depend on the kid. He wouldn't turn on you. He's too scared. You're wrong. I know his kind. He wants to be an honest man. People like you and me, Stacy. We just can't trust honest folks. You watch your talk, Jack. Remember, you're working for me. Sure. A hundred a month and 500 bounty on every homesteader I knock over in self-defense. Would you rather I wouldn't spread that gospel around? You do whatever you think best. set fire to the Helborg barn last night. The whole family came in town for protection. What happened to her? She burnt her hands, trying to save the poor horses she bought them. Where's Nels? In there. I'll get back to you as soon as I've had a look at your brother. You should never have let those cowboys out of jail. I'm sorry, Mr. Helborg. It's the law. 
Except for murder, every man's entitled to bail. My boy dies, it will be murder. He isn't gonna die. You took a big chance moving him. Could have broke open the wound. Burns are always painful. How do you feel otherwise? All right. Well enough to go visiting with me? the rest of that Swede family. We'd kind of like to escort the men folks to the nearest tree. I don't tolerate lynch talk in this town. Looks like you're gonna have to, Sheriff. As long as that's the only way we can get a fair deal. I'll give you men just one minute to clear off the street. Whatever you say, Sheriff. But you can't keep those Swedes in there forever. You heard the Sheriff. He said to get off the street. Come on. Boys, we might as well have some refreshments while we're waiting. Luke, keep an eye on the jail. Let us know who comes and goes. supposed to be going someplace? I thought you might like to take a walk with me back to the sheriff's office. What for? To give a true statement about what happened at the Helborg farm. I made my statement, Doc. I said a true one. Can't you let me alone, Doc? The Helborg barn was burned last night and all the livestock destroyed. Come in, Anna. And this is what happened to her, trying to save the horses. Why tell me I wasn't there? You could have been, Lonnie. But for that injured foot, you could have been. Would you have been? That's all I want to know, boy. Would you have been there last night shooting into the house, shooting at her? Look at her. I said look at her. Now tell me. Tell me you prefer the friendship of a criminal like Black Jack Ketchum to the respect of a girl like this. Tell me you do, and I'll go. I won't bother you anymore. Get something straight, sir. I didn't pick Blackjack for a friend. He picked me. Do you know what that means, mister? Do you know what it means to be cut out by a killer? Is it fair that I should have to stand up to him by myself and get killed? I'm asking you, is that fair? Don't ask me, ask her. The good Samaritans of this world don't ask to be picked. You were there and you know the truth. You have it in your power to break the hold of fear that cattlemen like Stacy wield over this community. But if you're too young or too stupid or dishonest, come on, Anna. Just a minute. You're right. I'm a coward. But not the way you think. I didn't ever want to be thought bad of by you, miss, or folks like you. I didn't ever want to have to choose. Figured I could be everybody's friend, stay out of trouble. 
I can't. I have to choose. Then you'll come with us. to see you up and around, boy. Come on, Lonnie. Stay right where you are, Doc. You, girl, get out of the way. You, Stacy. Thought I told you to get out of town. Well, just ask my young friend here if he needed any help. How about it, Lonnie? Stacy, I'm going to have to tell the truth. I've been working for you for almost a year now. And I've seen a lot of things that bothered me. Well, things like what happened yesterday. We were supposed to be out looking for strays, but that wasn't the real reason. The real reason was for blackjack. Force a fight, make trouble. Shoot some more homesteaders in self-defense. Wasn't self-defense what happened out there yesterday. You're a liar, kid. You hear me? A liar. It's the truth I'm speaking. And you know it. I repeat, you're a liar and a coward. If you're half the man you think you are, why don't you get yourself a gun? And we'll settle up right now. Go get me a gun, Doc. Don't fall for that, Lonnie. That's the oldest trick in the world. I'll say it just once more. Get out of town. Cover him. Come. We've got a right to make a peaceful public protest, Sheriff. You're covered, you know. So get yourself and that scatter gun of yours back inside. One blast from that thing, you're liable to lose a doctor and a lying witness along with a couple of honest cowboys. So what I'm going to do, Sheriff, is give Black Jack Ketchum here a chance to avenge his honor against the insults of this impudent young squirt. Luke, give me your gun. I'm going to throw this pistol over here where the lad can get to it. Black Jack, give me yours. You get the idea? Sound fair to you, Lonnie? Yeah, fair enough. Stacy, the kid's crippled and you know it. This is cold-blooded murder. On the contrary, Doc, it's as fair a duel as I've ever seen. Stay where you are, Sheriff. Move out of the line of fire. You keep out of it, Doc. There's nothing you can do about it now. These men are both armed and both have an equal chance. Walk away, boy. All you have to do is walk away. Sorry, Doc. I gotta know if I'm mad enough to be what I think I am. At the count of three, you'll both go for your guns. You ready? One. Two. Professional job, Ed. Right a switch, eh, Bill? You doing the shooting and me doing the bandaging. Well, you sure kept our star witness alive. Without him, we'd have all been finished. The way you took over that gun duel, Bill, was really something. I didn't know you could handle a gun like that. Well, I'll tell you a little secret, Ed. Neither did I. <laughs> We 
figured you needed a ride home, Doctor. So, we waited for you. That's awful nice of you, sir. I sure appreciate it. On July 18th, 1891, Black Jack Ketchum, Stacy, and the rest of the gang were sentenced. Lonnie was given two years probation.